So if you're tired of studying and feeling like you're never getting ahead, in fact, if you're tired of studying and feeling like you're getting further and further behind the eight ball, but the test is getting closer, trust me, I hear you, I know what you're talking about. And in this video, guys, I'm gonna give you an interesting study approach that may work for many of you. We're gonna to get to all that after this intro. All right, guys, what is going on? Lux here from the new journey, helping you succeed on your journey with less stress. Um, today's video is a very interesting study approach that can work for a lot of you, especially if you're struggling of getting ahead while the test is getting closer. But before we get to the study method, if you do enjoy this video and you want more videos like this, or if you enjoyed any video um, in the channel, help and support the channel by first hitting like on this one and subscribing to the channel for weekly videos. But let's get into the study method. Now, I want to first reiterate the typical study approach that frustrates a lot of us, which is we get a lot of content to read, especially in med school, but to read it, so read your syllabus, now we have to write, take notes or somehow document it, and then we have to retain it and review it. So read the syllabus, take your notes, do your flashcards or practice questions. That's a lot to do. And then to repeat it day in, day out for four years, that's stressful, and I get that. So let me give you an approach for any of you guys that eventually feel throughout the week where you're saying, well, I had to kind of compromise on my review because the reading took longer than I wanted to, or I couldn't read as much, so I'm already a couple of lectures behind. Here is an approach you can try, and it's through this concept known as batching. Now, if you haven't heard of batching, it's very common in like the business or people who create like content. So through my YouTube channel, I use batching all the time. For instance, Creating a video requires a lot of steps. I have to think of the topics, I have to create what I'm going to talk about, and then actually recording the video, editing, and so forth. So instead of doing all that one time, every single time I create a video, I basically will create all of the topics I want to create for the next couple of weeks, and then in one or two sittings, I'll record the videos, and then do all the other steps on respective days that I have free time. This works really well if you're somebody who struggles transitioning between one task and another, and actually work better when you do the same task over and over again. So you may not be a slow reader, but you kind of stink at reading, and then going into review mode, and then going back to reading. Like your energy just can't take it. So to understand how to use uh, batching in your study, I'm gonna give you some examples. But remember the main concept, which is to break down the whole process into many individual pieces and doing a lot of those individual pieces in one time block. So for instance, you know, studying is broken down to reading, reviewing, and then retaining. So you may do a lot of your reading in one evening. So for example, if you are typically on a nightly basis, reading three lectures and then spending time reviewing and learning those three lectures, now maybe you can read six lectures and don't worry about the reviewing process just yet. Because the next day, maybe you can now review those six lectures you've learned and feel like you're more in a sense of flow because you don't have to transition and forth between reading and reviewing. And this batching can be as elaborative or as simple as you want. Some of the things that I would do is I would read on Mondays, Tuesdays, and maybe Wednesdays and get really far ahead in class and then spend Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays just reviewing and doing flashcards. So I didn't feel like I had to switch between the two. I didn't feel like there was more to do on my plate. It was just this one task, so I had a lot to do of it, but I could easily keep my focus on it. And this technique is really effective for any of you guys who struggle transitioning between one task and the other. It's really nice, especially where you can read a lot of lectures on one day, for example, and then say, you know what, that sucked. I had to read a lot, but at least tomorrow I can just review. And then Wednesday, I can also review because I'm already ahead in terms of the reading point, and now I can just do the flashcards. So again, you can make the batching as elaborative or as simple as you want. You can do mini batching, which where you can do just like part of your study session is just focusing on a task, or you can do big chunks of time. Um, but just doing one specific thing, getting ahead in it, and then using another day to do the other steps works really well. So if you guys have more questions on batching or if you want more examples, um, just to make sure you add it in the comment section down below. I can make another video where I can kind of explain a batching example as well. But again, only if you guys have interest in me doing so. But if you can, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to this channel and join the community. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of my journey. Hopefully, hopefully I was a little help to you on yours, but I will see you guys in the next video. Take care guys.